I've never seen pink ones before. I've never like seen it. pink ones before. They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> They're both windows? Yeah, I got one. We're not sitting next to each other? No, 2A and 1A and 2A. I'm getting bombarded with hate over here. <laughs> she wanted me to tell you that we were first ones off the plane. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's actually scary. Oh my god. Holy fuck. This is insane. Can I use my phone? Yeah. Okay. Apple Pay? Yeah. I have Apple Pay. You have Apple Pay? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have anything in my Look how cute our drinks <laughs> look together. Mom? I'm back at the room. I put on my robe. We're going to Coco Bongo at 7 20 i think is like the pickup time i don't know the hotel is taking us from a bus with like other people from our hotel but coco bongo is like a nightclub but it's not just a nightclub it is an experience so i'm so excited i've never been we're going to the one in cancun so i'm ecstatic i am a little worried about the shoe situation because i only have my rainbow flip-flops my slippers that i wore on the plane and then these shoes that i got from target but i don't want to ruin those because i have I haven't even worn them yet, like on their own. I think I'm just gonna wear my flip flops, but I don't want those to get ruined either. But yeah, hoping for the best. During times like these, I really wish I could speak Spanish because I wanna know what they're saying because they're clearly talking about me right in front of my face and I just wanna know what they're saying. But maybe it's better if I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, my mom and I went to Coco Bongo, which as I tried to drunkenly explain earlier, is a club but also a show with different performers. They kept bringing drinks and shots to our table and obviously I took one or two every time they came over. But we went with people that were staying at our hotel so we became friends with them. And this clip is of one of our friends that we made getting pulled up on stage. And here is where I go on the stage and my mom filmed this video on her phone and we were both drunk out of our minds. But here I come, ready for my moment to shine. Just kidding, I was actually shitting my pants even though I was absurdly drunk. I was so nervous. I think because it was low-key a lot of people that could potentially be watching me. Like here I'm literally standing, looking around, not knowing what the fuck to do. But then eventually they told us what to do, which was basically dance with one of the girls as she shook her ass. So pretty usual occurrence for me i'm kidding kind of but i literally look like such an idiot but it's okay 
I honestly don't really give a fuck because I was just trying to have fun, you know? But again, this clip was taken by my mother. So I don't know, I figured I'd leave it in because you could see our little table there. But yeah, back to the montage, I guess. So I honestly don't even remember how I ended up back on stage again, but I feel like it was the same situation as before where I got brought up there with other people and I was trying to convince my mom to come on stage with me so that we could like shake ass together. So I was like screaming her name and like trying to wave her over. And of course I'm very convincing so she came on stage with me and it was so fucking fun. The show ends around like three in the morning, but me and my mom were not trying to stay until three. I could not even stay. I don't even remember what time we left, but like at a certain point I was so fucked up. I don't even remember how we got home. But clearly after Coco Bongo, I was not doing well. So good night. <laughs>